Dunedin for me, it's a quaint little town with a lot of charm to it. I can see it being my home long term, which it has been for a good odd most of my life really, being part of the South Island. A good odd five to ten degrees colder than it would get up here in South Auckland. <laughs> Lights out at 11 o'clock, cleaning every night at 10. Everybody out of bed by at least 6.55. Cleaning in the morning starts at 7. Just keeping everything neat. Everybody, friends. I have really became enamored with pro wrestling these last few years and knowing a bit about Fales on himself and really admiring the community aspect of the dojo. Going on a whim, I came up to do this to get some life experience and just see if pro wrestling is for me. AJ Fasaji, 20 years old from Dunedin, New Zealand. Last year, I just finished my first year for my physiotherapy degree. At the end of it, I was feeling I needed some time away from my studies just to reevaluate. My family and friends were nervous for me, but they were excited in that I made the call on my own that I wanted to go out, get out of Dunedin and do something different. Most of the rules are, if we're gonna make some food, you sit down, it's ikitakimasu, before we eat, and then after you finish your meal, go to Sosama Deshta, everyone responds, and then you clean. If someone was to have a shower, they grab their towel, they walk into the land room where everybody is, shower, shits, rest your masks, loud, clear, everybody knows. If somebody's in here, shower, shits, rest your masks, and then you go have your shower. After you've had your shower, you come out, again, repeat the same thing, but now it's shower, get the Shower, got the time I shot. And then, yeah. It's just those things that happen in Japan that we want to make sure that we're doing in here. So if guys do get sent to Japan, like myself, Mike's son, Andrew's son, that it's pretty seamless with the way we do things. We're just cleaning the house, which is only the little things. And then um, we'll be back up at 6.30 tomorrow and start cleaning this place all again at 7.00. We're all just working to click with each other and just find ourselves and grow into ourselves. So everyone coming here brings their own things to the table, their own flavor. And it's made me appreciate who I am and as a person and that I'm willing to listen to others. Coming to Dojo just reinforced important life lessons is just how do you work with others? How do you work with yourself? Because really, to be successful in the world, no matter where you are, it's being able to be comfortable in yourself and be comfortable with others. All right, everyone out here. Let's go. Let's There's a lot of things you're still not doing. There's one thing, Mark's noticed it. Some of you were cleaning and went right past it. Correlate this to the opportunities. Do you guys want to know what you guys missed? Hey, hey, hey. Look at the reception. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Exactly. Yeah, here's mud right Look there. Look around the side. And on the side as well. Okay, like that. So that's what we mean, guys. That sort of stuff, okay? Opportunities, missed, that, missed. So you guys need to be on to it a little bit more. Seniors in particular, you guys need to guide these guys and have a look at everything. Move it! Get over here. Well, because you guys missed that, Mark's got a little surprise for you guys. This morning, instead of a run, you're gonna grab that tire and we're gonna walk right around the whole area. Some of you guys are going to piggyback each other. So if you're not carrying that tire, you find a partner and you piggyback and you walk right around until you switch, get off, switch. So that way everyone's working out. Everyone's held accountable. It's 
It's about accountability at the dojo. When someone makes a mistake, we all suffer. It's the same as a match. You don't just make a mistake in the ring and walk away. No, everyone suffers. So it's more than just cleaning. It's about accountability. That's what we're trying to teach these guys. Watch where you're driving. on thinking that they don't get seen and you know when you cut corners once now I start zeroing in and look at every little move you make and you just see cut corner cut corner cut corner Lloyd he don't belong here I don't give a fuck what anybody says my ovaries hurt my leg is hurt I wreck my car I have to take a week off to hang out at home and have a vacation it's all in your mind. We went from not touching the tire, well, there were three other guys, instead of four guys were carrying it, three guys carried it so he could have a, a day in the sun. And they went from sitting on one guy's back and immediately jumped off there. We drove by and jumped on another guy's back. Well, fuck that shit. Training with everyone, it's... Sometimes there can be too much testosterone around. You can take this hey, switch. Hey, hey, hey. All right. The big thing here has been the the training. It's pushed me phys more physically than I ever have before. I'm in by far the best shape in my life. But it's taught me or reinforced in me my resiliency. Because before here I've never had any combat sport experience and not a lot of gym experience. I was always more the runner than, say, the bench presser. So coming here has upskilled me. There needs to be discipline. There needs to be more of it. There's a lack of discipline. Everybody's welcome. And uh, on the independence, uh, it's playtime. So you need to put in the work and be honest with yourself. It's time to man up and, uh, and, and, and grow up. People are gonna trust you with their body 20 minutes into a match when you're exhausted and you're gonna take a, you're gonna take a, you're gonna cut corners. That's how people end up in wheelchairs or dead. Uh -uh. Go somewhere else and do that shit. Watch out for the people, whoa! Feel in here that's got a lot of promise. Look at this, the whole town think we're crazy now. Yeah, got you. Let's go, team. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yep, turn around. That's okay, the brothers. Put that tire up. Put that tire up. Yeah. 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 I frankly feel if you want this with all your heart, do it with the right people. I think from all the things I've been learning from the coaches is that so many people will lose their way so easily in this in the field of pro wrestling because they don't get the right training. Come on. Let's go, all the way, all the way. It's all in your mind. The most surprising thing about professional wrestling training would be the conditioning. Conditioning for about 80 to 90% of the full intake. The more I was doing it, the more I realized that was probably my favorite part of these camps was all the conditioning. Sure, extremely difficult, but I felt that was where I shined in myself. 
Drop the top. Oh, Freddy, let's go. Come on, Freddy Freckles. Come on, this is bullshit. Come on, let's go. How many times has he been told? Freddy, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. So keep the tire up above your head. It really just shows what our defaults are when we face challenge, whether we just tuck our head down and just keep pushing forward, whether we're a bit loud and boisterous or we get a bit reserved. Keep those elbows locked. What they want to say is let out your voice and it's, I've confused that before with say arrogance or cockiness to release your voice. So for me, it's really being reassuring myself to just let it out because I've always had the tendency to bottle things up. It's just a test of seeing if they can go all the way, working together as a team, making it easy for themselves if they work together or they're selfish and run away from the work. You, you encounter a lot of difficulties in life and if you just give up, that's it. You know, you're never gonna get to the next level. So we push them to go as far as they can. We recognize where they can get to. So a lot of them, most of them ain't even there yet. You can just see them running away from the work. And if they can uh, still walk after this, that means they can still walk. We said four! All four, switch! Work as a team! I got this sheet. This will easily teach some of these guys to recognize who's doing the work and who's not. You know, and it forces some, some of them to step up as leaders, communicators. It's really when you get to that point when you're uh, almost breaking that you recognize and see, you know, what needs to be done and who's not working. You, you kind of forget all the bullshit and you see straight through some of these guys. And I can see uh, some of these guys are recognizing that for the first time. You know, some of them are get, getting vocal and really frustrated with the other guys because they recognize they're not doing the work. If they work as a team, Everyone's going to share the load and it's going to be easy. Everybody is accountable for everybody. If Rich is struggling, we're all struggling right now. Go, Rich! Roll it. Roll it. There's always a pile to help. Let's go, let's go. AJ! Hey, 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 Keep moving! Don't stop! Let's go, Let's go go up. Some of you have travelled far to get here. Mm -hmm. Okay? I left my nine to five. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm struggling every day. I struggle every day. Okay? Just to keep afloat. And now I have got a kid to think of. Some of you need to think of like your family, your friends. Use that as your motivation. I go home and I look at my son's face every day. That's what drives me now, is my son. Some of you need to use some of that shit. Mm. You can rectify those simple things just by listening. That's all it is. I'm not being a dick because I need to be a dick. I'm being a dick because I see potential in every one of you mm. guys. That's Something true. that you have that I don't, that I wish I had when I was your age. Mm. Island boys in particular, mm. you guys, don't hide. You need to step up even more. He did it. Twice as hard. Mm -hmm. Who are you guys standing in front of? A Tongan and a Samoan. 
Wake up. Two, two summons. <laughs> Mark, Mark, me. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> yeah, good. Just stretch while you're listening. Because hey. all this is what happens in the ring. There's times we can't even breathe, but we know we have to keep moving. This is what it is. This is how you learn it. This is the only way we can teach you guys. Okay. Go, you go, got go. down. And then from here, again, use the technique and get under you and control your body. Okay. Bang. Don't worry about talking, Jake. Just do it. Let him learn. Dan, the, the table's got four legs. All four of his legs. I'm mucked up, sir. Hey. Fuck the Yankees. Fucking Cali. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I love you though. Gee, I don't want to do this, Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 Mitch, whoa, 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 Oh. 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 You're learning, bro. I'll be honest. It's a little bit harder than usual. Fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. Oh. he's got nothing. You got him, bro. Oh, never mind. Richard. I just thought he hit him. In a weird sense, coming here, my least favorite part actually doing the wrestling itself. I loved watching the others and learning things from them, but for me, I've come to the realization I don't want to be the focus. I'd like to support others. Just see everything holistically and just help lift people up. Nice. Nice, Roy. Let him free. Get the hand keep off. Keep the head up, keep the head up. Eyes up, eyes up. Nice. Nice. Ray. I've come to the point that being a professional wrestler in itself, I'm not interested in. But coming here, I really love the referee side aspect, the management side of it. By the time I complete this intake, I'll be preparing to go back to university to finish off my physiotherapy degree. So, a goals in mind that I'd like to do is, with my physiotherapy degree, is potentially become a certified physio for New Japan, while also perhaps being able to be a referee on the side for the company and that one of their referees is a certified health professional and that could prove very useful for both the athletes and also the management. Switch to the other side, T. Jump to the other side. No, 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 you're gonna get pinned. No. Fuck, he was so close. Come in, come in. Right. right. Sweet, we're just gonna finish there. Make sure you take that tire back. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Dave advertised their wrestling intakes also as life retreats. For me, coming here was important to get my mind away from just my day-to-day -day life. And I think especially where everything's closed up because of the global pandemic, it's been important to get perspective on your life. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a is a traditional Japanese boil-up. 
part of the diet in Japan for the wrestlers, consisting of pork, chicken, and sometimes fish and beef. The base would be daikon, which is horseradish, veggies, basically a lot of healthy stuff. Stuff that will uh, keep you healthy, but help you get bigger. Every day we have trainings, we'll have one or two guys get the chance to stay back and learn how to cook it. But today we've got uh, an actual chef. We've got Warren, who's, who's an actual chef, a proper uh, uh, five-star hotel chef, was it? Uh, I wouldn't get it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's always a, a plus to have a chef cooking your chunko, you know? I was fortunate enough that I've been to Japan before and I've had chunko before, but I've only ever had one type of chunko. Um, so pretty lucky that I kind of have an idea of what it tastes like. Um, but it is very similar to most other boil-ups and, and soups, really. As a, as a chef, I'm not used to eating food that's so bland, so for me it's got to have a lot of, a lot of salt and a lot of flavour, a, uh, a lot of kick to it, really. Obviously, if you're making Asian food, I do the same thing in Australia. Uh, always go to the, the Asian groceries because common sense would dictate that if this is ingredients that are used regularly in Asian culture, it's going to be cheaper because they're eating it themselves here in New Zealand. I see a lot of the uh, wrestlers, the massive Japanese guys, they just bulk. That's what they eat every day. The sumo wrestlers, every day, that's what they eat. Mm. Yeah, what did that learn? It's a guy.